In a previous video, I demonstrated how to set up your Sony Nex to be triggered based on distance automatically with PixHawk. And that was done with this nifty little board by Flytron called the SLED. This is actually version two with an onboard infrared LED. So super tiny little module, I'll put a link to it below, but I've received comment after comment asking, how do you actually set this up to trigger manually? So I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a Tyrannus to use this to trigger photos as well as video. And just for demonstration purposes, I will scotch tape the infrared LED over the remote shutter. And in the previous video, I actually show you how to set up your camera configuration so that you can do remote shutter. I'll put a link to that video below just in case you need to know how to set that up. And let me also mention when you're in the air with your setup, I highly recommend something like this Scotch double-sided adhesive tape. This is rated for 10 pounds. It's pretty insane just how sticky it is. So I just cut a little bit off, put it on that LED and stick it to the camera. Before we get to the setup, which is super simple with the Tyrannus, let me just demonstrate how this works. So I have my BEC, it's actually a BEC built in to my ESC running five volts into my receiver and then the SLED coming out of channel six. So my switch is currently in the middle position. I'll just toggle it down and you can see that it's taking photos. Now, if you leave it in that mode, it will actually do continuous photos. So if I bring it back up, you can see that it stops. So if you wanted to, let's just say, take one photo, you would toggle down and then bring it back up. Now, let me demonstrate video mode. I'm going to bring my switch up and then I'll toggle back into the middle position. You can see that the camera is recording and then I'll toggle back up and down again to stop the video recording. Okay, let's go ahead and set this up. You can see I have a profile named Switch, and as I mentioned earlier, you guys probably won't believe how crazy easy this is to set up. So I'm gonna go all the way to my mixer. We'll go down to channel six. Obviously, this is whatever channel that you have your switch connected to on your receiver. For source, I'll hit enter, and then I'll toggle my SG switch. So you can see that that gets picked up. Go ahead and hit enter, exit, exit again, and that's all we have to do for the setup. Let me go all the way out, and we'll take a look at our channel monitor, and you'll see that channel six, when it's down, is minus 100. In the middle, it's at zero, and then up, it's at 100. So the way that that SLED board works, and if I take it to minus 100, it'll go into photo mode, and then if I go to plus 100, it will go into video mode. You could obviously, flip that around so that the switch behaved in an opposite manner, or you could even set up your channel six to operate on both of these switches so that maybe this would take a photo, and on this side you could toggle in and out of video mode. Now you can see that we have power from our BEC coming into channel eight, and then the channel six configuration we just did is where the Flytron SLED is connected. So now I'll go ahead and connect power to our receiver, I'll turn on the camera and we'll run our test. I'll switch down, and back up. With it down, you can see that we're getting photos taken and then I'll bring the switch up to plus 100. See that it's recording. I wanna turn recording off, bring it up again and then back to its center position. So just wanted to share that for all of you that had asked about the switch. It's really just an amazing little component. It's $10, ships out of the UK. I ordered two, and I've been using it in the swing with PixHawk to do some awesome higher resolution mapping. The switch supports a lot of the Sony Nex and Alpha cameras, so definitely check it out. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below. I'm working on some content that will demonstrate this FX79 Big Buffalo in the air with the next and the Flytron SLED. Until next time, thanks for watching.